This is our throwing program with a two pound med ball and a five pound space. So this is a drill based approach and what we're doing with the med balls is the heavier weight. And we find two pounds to be the best and for the younger kids one pound. It forces our bodies to work harder so it challenges the kinetic chain, the whole body. Most important, we throw this with two hands. Because the worst thing you, would, you can do as a throwing athlete is as you're challenging the kinetic chain, you do it with one arm. And the problem is, is if you have any issues in the kinetic chain, more of the problems and the error is at the end. So if you're putting an added weight in that one arm and there's error or there's bad mechanics, then we can put more stress, cause more injury. With the two-hand approach, it doesn't allow the end of the chain to take all the error and all the, the loading, the torques. It actually pulls the arm in, the ball in, and it gauge more, engages more with the trunk. And now the ball forces the kinetic chain to work better within the trunk and not loading it strictly into the arm. And now we can enhance the kinetic chain with a great drill with this two pound med ball. Then the goal from there is to translate all these new improvements, the better leg drives, the better trunk to pelvis movements that the med ball is forcing us to do to the baseball. And then we start to see the improvements with the baseball. So once we have that connection between the med ball drills and the baseball drills, we start to see gains, and then we can work that all the way up to the mound uh, and all the way up into uh, competition.